somebody sent me, actually a couple people sent me, um, it was a, a paid ad um, for somebody that I actually follow on Instagram. She's, uh, I'm Mrs. Spates Cadet and she's freaking hysterical if you've never watched her before. Um, I'm actually gonna come in so you can hear me a little bit better. And um, it was a paid ad for, I think it was like always discreet or something like that. And they're like, oh my God, did you see this? She's totally promoting wearing a pad. And I, I, you know, people have been doing this for, for years. And um, it's the first I've seen on social, which is, which is kind of cool. Um, but I started to scroll down through the comments. I'm like, okay, okay. Lots of comments about, yeah, I'm glad you're talking about this. And then slowly mom started to write, oh my God, you got to see a pelvic floor PT. Da, 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 da. And it, like the next bunch of comments were about seeing pelvic floor PT. And I was thinking, holy that they weren't PTs on there doing it. It was moms. And I was like, okay, game's changed a little bit. Um, because back even just a couple of years ago, um, and, and as PTs, we, we get very defensive. We're like, no, pelvic floor PT. And I'm definitely, I've, I've mellowed over the years because I know not necessarily everybody has access. I think there's a lot of ways to skin the cat. Um, I did see people, a couple of people be like, you know, I did pelvic floor PT for a couple of times with my couple of babies and it never worked with running or trampoline. That's why you see pelvic floor PTs who specifically work with runners. Um, we have that now right here. Um, but it was the coolest thing ever. One to have just a regular everyday person being like, yep, this is a thing. Everybody being like, hell yeah. Her getting paid, first of all. <laughs> and then also moms going in and being like, yes, but there's also this. And so I'm long past the stage where I'm like, Meh, you know, pads are bad because we do what we have to do and not everybody has access. And sometimes the easiest thing, so you don't lose your mind is to go slap a pad on and, you know, do your thing. Um, but to have more women know that one, that there's options that general pelvic floor PT can be impactful and helpful. But also for those of you that comment and you're like, yeah, it didn't work for me, please be aware there's, there's a next level. There's a next level beyond the basic and that's for the, the situations that are a little bit more complex, but then those of us that are, this is our wheelhouse because running's complicated. Um, I talk about running being kind of like the holy grail. It's like right up there with trampoline park. Like it's, it's, it's big deal kind of stuff. If like walking is here, running and trampoline park are there. Um, but I, I, before I commented, I was like, I just want to take a second, just let this sink in. And things have changed so much. Um, just over the past two years, three years, the willingness, one, for moms to talk about this is an issue two, for them to talk about it in the context of sport, running, activity, that sort of thing. Um, three, for so many women to be cheering on pelvic floor PT when that was not even two years ago, even three years ago. Think, you know, my kids are now eight and 11. You know, people would come in and like, this, this is a thing. I'm like, yeah, I, ha I have a job and there's a lot of other people that have a job too. Um, it's, it's, cool. And I know some people will be like, yeah, but she's talking about pads and pads aren't the answer. There, there's another time for that discussion. Um, I think women having a choice to choose a pad, women having a choice to choose pelvic floor PT if they have access, or if they don't have access to a PT, a virtual coach or trainer or somebody that's skilled that can help them in this area, just for women to know that, yeah, I don't have to just deal with this or I have to stop running or I have to stop what I love to do. Um, just wanted to pause on that one. This, and, and I think lots of times we think ahead and like, oh, we want to eliminate, you know, all of this better pelvic floor care, postpartum care, that sort of thing. Yep. No, didn't, didn't give that up. Just look back, see how far we've come and then we can move on. But I just wanted to, to kind of highlight that. But if you, get a chance. Um, I'm Mrs. Space Cadet. It's freaking hysterical. She talks about like wearing like things that we all dealt with. Like when you, when you're running and like the shorts start to creep up and she, what is it? Like 
that your thighs gobble your shorts. I'm like, yeah, been there. Um, trying to get her on the podcast. We've connected. Hopefully we can get her scheduled. Um, but I, I'm super excited. She just seems super real. And um, congrats on getting a sponsorship. That's that's super cool. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you think. Like, should we have more moms out there preaching, you know, and, and getting paid sponsorships from, you know, uh, pad companies? Should be getting paid sponsorships from PT companies? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think. What should be, who, who should we be cheering on at this point? Or we should be like, you know, if you can't do this dry, you shouldn't be out there at all. I want to know what you think. Um, hop in my DMs. Have a good one.